from a Fremantle perspective. They gave away a few sloppy free kicks early against Brisbane, set them on the back foot. So they want to make amends, and it was this man that kept them in it early when they were under the pump. Sarong, Tracy with strong hands. He's had the result. Kicked an equal career high three goals last week against the Brisbane Lions. For the quick response, goal umpire does not move. Sherry, right on the paint, drifts out to the right. Hooks it a touch left. Oh. Big fly, Jackson. Nice highlight early. <laughs> Big Luke with a hanger. Mops up so often. It's involved a couple of times. And now Wardlaw. Half forward, just out of the reach of Stevenson. Coleman Jones attacked it. Back to Stevenson. Has Larky out the back if he wants to go to him. And he does. And Larky just lets it go through with selfless play. Nice transition from the Kangaroos. They got their second. The Kangaroos have had... Plenty of it in the most dangerous part of the ground. This time, Kangaroos have evened up numbers inside 50. Zerha! Allowed to run and jump. Sheasel and Scott are two of them. That's a good kick to Simpkin in space. If he looks up, he's got a one-on-one -on -one inside 50. Coleman Jones on Draper, or he can go alone, and he pops it over to Lucky. Gets it off Walters. Put it in a difficult situation for Young, who's able to get out of trouble. Sarong inside 50 now. Swikowski looks to have recovered. Flicks it out, Walters. Oh, they were coming oh, from everywhere. Oh, and in the end, just a little bit reckless. The goal number 350 in his career. A much-needed settler on quarter time. Walters, with all his experience and poise, delivers. Always able to extricate himself out of trouble. Got it to Tucker. And Curtis, in between two dockers, is going to get his third look at goal. Davies Juniak again, he spins and he's strong to be able to stand in that contest. Now there's an opportunity for the Ruse. Pow, loops it over the top by hand. Stevenson in the long sleeves. He's got a runner on the outside, inside ball. Oh, Wardlaw to Simpkin, and this is beautiful for the Ruse. Simpkin back in the side, recovered from that concussion. His teammates will come for him. Jai Simpkin, two in a row to start the term for North Melbourne. Makes the short option to McKercher. A couple of draft picks goes inside and it works out. Zerhar on the burst. Uh, how does, how does the Sherry get the free kick out of that? Lazaro burst clear, gives it to Powell. Had plenty of clearances. Has he got a goal? He has. Another one for the Kangaroos. Tom Powell's on the board. You get a second opportunity here, Banfield. Brayshaw running out from behind. That's twice Andrew Brayshaw's had footy hands on the ball and twice he's been dispossessed. That doesn't happen often. Banfield wants to get on his left. He does eventually. Kicks it to a dangerous spot. Jackson floats across. There's that kick again, Brown. The kick from five and then the one on to find Tracy. Got a man inside in Amos. They don't go that direction. They go to Tabata, who went round the corner on the last but didn't look like it. Well, and truly got a contest on her hands now. Jackson mops up his own ruck work and then gets involved in the chain. Clark been instrumental in this comeback. High ball inside 50, 2v2. Tabata's got some confidence up. Looks for targets. Floating down his ace. So they're refusing to go That's long right. here. They, they don't really want to go Play deep on. unless they have to. Ace, low piercing ball. Jackson's a presence everywhere. Sheasels and the Fishers coming out of their back half. Well, it is now. They've ramped it right up. Kick the only three for the term. The last five of the match have the team in purple. Brayshaw, the London ground ball. Brilliant finish by Brayshaw. He's the one that got them going. Caught one. Caught one from Aiden Core yeah. just into the old gut. It's Jackson again, yes, who's pushed all the way down for Cherry to defend. Dawson got the supporting with the fist. Banfield on the right boot. There's another one for Freo. That's raining goals at the moment. Looks out the path of Swikowski, who's really given them something. Little chipper inside. Tracy. Core does well. Spills out of the vital moment, though. Back to Swikowski. Loses it. Hits the back of his heel. Young. Trying to get onto the right. Good smother. They come again through five. Five from 50. Nathan Five nails it. North at ground level, they've turned it over, those wrong slick hands. Walters, Walters, square, goal, Amos. Might be the decisive moment in the match. Well, mate, he doesn't know what he's doing, but neither, neither do Freeman. 
Oh, is that going to be out of bounds on the full? How have they called it? The goal umpire has said it's out on the full. They're going to confer here. So the field umpire said that it bounced before it hit the post. I think it definitely did. Kicked it out of bounds. Oh. Oh. oh that's on the full. Oh, that's, that's a mistake from the field umpire. Sarong. Brayshaw. Finally, they get the turnover. This one could be the blow. Amos gets on the left boot. They're queuing up in board. And it's Banfield who takes the mark. Dawson. They both go to ground. Frederick has to wait and gather. And now Sharp, who had a crack at his goal for the Dockers earlier in the game, finally gets that one. And they notch up 100 points. As is Curtis. Sarong up to possession. 35. Back to Scott. North players queuing up in board, instead decides to go alone, lets it fly, good finish. You hearing that right there? Yep. Siren, two games, two comebacks, two wins for Fremantle.